Yo, what's up? This your boy Peanut coming at you with another reaction. And before we get into this, welcome to the Peanut Gallery, y'all. And today we'll be reacting to some of Trey Rag's recent videos. Enough talk. Let's get into this. Sorry. Also, this first one is called When You Get the Worst Trap and Saw. It's time to play a game. Marshall and Trey. You guys don't appreciate life. Always talking about how much it sucks. Well, it's about to get worse. You have five minutes to retrieve the key, unlock your chains, and escape this room. Okay. If you two fail, not only will both of you die, but so will Marshall's two-year-old daughter. Damn, not the kid. I will give y'all a hint. The key is inside of Marshall's penis. Whoa! Oh. Now we are about to figure out what sucks more. <laughs> The key, first off, where the key location is, is wild. Then this man said, we have to figure out who sucks more. Life or, you know, the gold gold. Oh, heck no. Oh, Trey. That is wild. The game begins. <laughs> Yo, what the hell he talking about? What sucks more, bro? That is wild. Bro, why he looking at him like that? Come on, bro. It's my daughter. Oh, no. No. Bro, bro. bro. No. I understand, but please, bro. Bro, no. come on. No. It's crazy. Come on, bro. Come on. If you do it, I swear to God, it won't take the whole five minutes. Hell no. It will not take the whole five minutes. It'll take like two. <laughs> I swear it won't take the whole five minutes by like two. Yo, what type of gawk gawk is that? That's crazy. Pause, pause, pause. No, nah, bro. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Oh, my daughter. I don't care, bro. She's Listen, gonna die. Dang. My daughter, we bro. lost. It's my Sad daughter. Bro. Oh, daughter. We already lost. All right, all right, all right. Okay, not doing it, bro. Right, I'm not trying right, to say this. Listen, listen I just gotta tell you something, though. Come here. Just, just get closer to me, bro. No. Bro, no. no. You're not tricking me, bro. Just get a little closer. Mm -hmm. Try to get me close so you can <laughs> grab me with your legs and make me do it. I'm not doing yeah, it. Don't do all right, it. Marshall, I'm not. Oh, come here, Mark, Mark, here. Get your legs back. Come here. I'm not doing <laughs> it. Come on, bro. We lost. My daughter. That's it. We lost. We lost. Terrible. Bro, can y'all y'all imagine being in a trap like that? Yo, that's impossible, bro. Oh my lordy, man. I pray none of y'all fall into any situation like that ever, man. I know that you guys have been the working. Next one's called when Disney needs a black character. Oh my lord. Working on a remake <laughs> for Little Mermaid. Bro. And you change the Little Mermaid black. And yeah, that's nice and all, but I feel like Disney really needs some new original black princesses. I feel like that would do a lot of good for us. Okay. You know, Trey, you are absolutely correct. And I'm actually proud to say we've actually been working on that idea of yours. Oh, you have? Absolutely. Let me share you some of the stuff that we came up with. The princess and the dog. What? She's a black princess, and she ends up falling in love with a dog. What? A bitch loving a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't seeing that. I did not see that coming. A bee loving a bee, a female and a dog. Come on, bro. That's crazy. No, I don't. I don't really think that's very flattering. Okay, you're right. You're right. Okay. All right. I'm going to share another one. Um. We've also been trying the princess and the chicken. What? Beautiful. Black princess falls in love with a chicken. Okay. The chicken ends up breaking her heart, so she cooks them. Wow. Proven, she's an independent black woman. She don't need no man disrespecting her. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think cruelty. that's going to work either. I, I feel like she, she needs like a, a human companion. Okay, you're right. You're right, man. You're right. How about this? The princess and the thug. Wow. A beautiful black princess falls in love with the neighborhood crack dealer. <laughs> they both end up getting strung out on their own product. Damn. She moves out of her beautiful castle into a crack house. Wow. Proving that love doesn't have a price there. I'm out here. I'm sorry. <laughs> love doesn't have a price. He <laughs> said the princess and the thug. I was in love with it. Yo, that is wild. Can you imagine somebody pitching a movie idea to you like that? That would be crazy. I, I quit. I quit. 
I'm not sure. Come on. I'm going to have the thug be played by John Morant. It's going to be perfect. Wow. Hey, yo, the thug will be played by John Morant. Hey, yo, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, John going through a lot of, a lot of ish right now. Oh, it's Trey. That's why. <laughs> Next one is called when you have missed calls from your girlfriend. Okay, we all been in this position one time or another. Oh, snap. Hey, Bay. I know you probably sleep right now. That's why you didn't pick up. But just call me when you're up, okay? I love you. Wow. You want to pick up again? Okay. All right. Well, have fun doing what you're doing because I know you're doing something else. Oh, Lord. Just, you don't got to act like you're not there, but whatever. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I hope she love you, Trey. <laughs> I hope she love you. Okay? Do you? Because I'm a go me. Oh, good. Because I'm a go me. No happen when you assume. I got your mom in the trunk, Trey. What? I got her in the trunk. So you better pick up the phone. Oh, heck no. I'm going to do something wrong. I'm going to do something wrong. I'm going to do something wrong. Nigga, crazy, bro. Oh, Who is? <laughs> Trey, pick up! Hello. Trey, I'm blinking back! I'm blinking back at him! You sound blinking back at him! I'm not going to jail! That's what she's saying. Pick up! Back up right now! Trey! Oh my goodness. What type of wild situation got going on? Yeah, hello? This is a collect call from an inmate in Jackson County Correctional Facility. What? Yeah, babe, I need Bell, babe. I need Bell. Wow. Your, your mom is okay. They, they got her off the trunk. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just, I was tripping. You there, you think? I was tripping. I'm sorry. But I, I, need, I need you to come get me. Oh, come heck me. no. Nah, you gonna sit there. That's what you gonna do. All because you missed the call, man. Certain situations be like that. Where it <laughs> be tripping. Like, I legit was sleeping on your legit cooking, whatever you may have been doing. Like you faithful to your girl, like that. That's wild. She lit, literally and pick, kidnapped his mom, put her in the trunk, and got to a shootout. Now she wants bail? Oh hell no! Nah. For the streets. Next one, when your crush has an ugly best friend. Oh boy. Uh, Alright, so I seen this fine John, right? Like I just had to walk up to her, and I'm saying, go spit some game to her, say all the right things. Right. And while I'm talking to her, her ugly best friend, big ho, woke up talking about she don't want you. Like, why do all fly girls got these ugly best friends? When you see me with a baddie, don't talk. Don't talk. And if your pussy smell like greens, don't talk. Don't yeah. talk. Y'all can smell it through your jeans when you walk. Yeah. She big and angry. Why she looking like the hawk? Yeah. You're not a man. Why you acting like you tough? Nah. You smell like fish and you look like Mrs. Puff. Yeah. <laughs> you smell like fish and look like Mrs. Puff. <laughs> That's a bar. Oh, no. <laughs> And you look like Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Don't be mad that you never didn't cuff. Right. Mm. So when I holler at your friend, oh shut up, oh shut up. Your breath stink and you built like a tank. If I call your friend over, you're not invited to the link. So don't mm. ever ever think that you'll pull up to my place. Cause I'll spit right in your face and I'll spray you with some mace. Kick you Dang, right. I spit you in your face, spray you with some mace. <sighs> this man is a savage. He's a demon. Face and I'll spray you with some mace, kick you right up in your stomach, roll you down my staircase, and I'll rip you up in tape so tight you can't escape. Drive you to the nearest lake, throw you in and let you sink. No, Dang. I Dang, this is giving me that uh, Eminem stand vibes. Oh my goodness, wrap you up, duct tape trunk, take you to the nearest lake. 
It's some old school Eminem right here. Now you can't escape, drive you to the nearest lake, throw you in and let you sink. No, I will not leave a trace. I won't catch no murder case. No! I Damn. hate this hoe. I got it all planned out. I do. In our business, man, you too fanned out. You a fan. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad that you don't stand out. You don't. Cock blocking because you in a man draw. Get up, man. Don't be mad that she can't get a friend. <laughs> Always angry when she talking to a man. Right. Bro. You should be mad you got the hair coming to rent. No, and no. why she always get attention and you can't. Hey! It's for all the ugly best friends, man. Mm. Like, listen, if you see a nigga hollering at your friend, just shut the hell up. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, just stop hating, bro. <laughs> Dang. Producer's like, you right? <laughs> it be like that sometimes, too. Like, if you, you hear this, you have nothing to say. Just stay in your lane, man. God got somebody for you in the future, man. God has somebody for everybody. Oh, man. I just feel like right, it's the last one right here. When Mike Tyson interviews Kevin Gates. Let's get it. It's really so much, so... You know we have to talk about sex. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear a random sex story from you. Come on. I know you, I knew you got one. A uh, random story? Uh, oh, boy. All right, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what happened last week, bro. This what happened last week. All right, so I was eating out this girl, bro. Oh, I was eating her out. Yeah. And, uh, she talking about get up, like get, get up. Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm like, uh, it's totally right here. Like, we, right, right. I, I let it piss in my mouth, bro. And I just, <laughs> I just drunk it. I just <laughs> drunk it like some, like some Pepsi. Uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> you know, I actually have a story about eating out good, too. Hey, oh, you do, Mike? Let me hear uh -oh. it. It's my first time, okay? I, I never did it before. The voice. And uh, she asked me to do it. And, um, you know, since my first time, I didn't know what to do. So when I went down to eat it, okay, I bit it and actually ate it. What? Hey, yo. Instead of biting the ear off, he went down and opened the box and ate the, what, the bit off? I know that sure he was in pain. I was just, I was just biting it. I was just biting it because I. I didn't know. What? I thought that's how you actually eat it. No, man. I just, I just spit it and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I just see him in the pot. I'm the same face, too. I just move my neck and just, and just rip it into shreds. And Damn. she's just screaming. And I'm just, <laughs> I think that's what she wanted. I'm like, you're going to eat you out. I'll eat you out. My ears are sad, man. Oh, man, good times. Good times. <laughs> Kevin, like, I'm going to get out of here. Why, you serious, bro? What you mean? That's, that's not okay, bro. That's that's not that's not normal. Bro. <laughs> well, I do I do this bond, and I do it. I, I thought you could relate a little bit. You know? I, don't, I don't relate to that, bro. No. Just don't, I don't, I don't. no, you can relate, nigga. Oh, you can relate. You did that before. What? Yeah, yeah, I do relate to that. I I, uh, I remember I did that. Right, that's what I'm saying. I did that before. <laughs> that mood sway. Why you like you I don't know, bro. I don't know. He didn't want to get knocked out by Mike. I, I, I just must have, must have just, just forgot about that. Like, I'm sorry. Hey, I know you did it before. You <laughs> did. You just like me. You just like me, Kevin. Mm. The music in the background, man. <laughs> Kevin feeling that heat, boy. Oh man, so let me just keep asking some more questions. I got more red down. We're gonna go through the whole dish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lord. I better not hear any guy ever. You go down your shore, you bite. Bro. Oh my lord, boy. You get sent straight to the shadow realm. Oh my goodness, boy. Trey, you a damn fool for these, boy. Oh my lord, I'm I'm lost for words. This man Trey just does not miss. He don't miss. He always got a message within his videos, and it's always accurate, man. Crazy. That's my reaction, y'all, to some of Trey Rag's recent videos, man. Before I end this, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Most importantly, leave a comment below the video. Or which one we're at to next. We're on the road to 1K subs. I'm out. One love.